So let's talk about Google Ads competitor analysis using SEM Rush, which is a really powerful search engine marketing tool that's going to allow us to see some different information about people's ads, right? So our competitors' ads. And especially if you're running Google Ads, it's uh, important to have superior ads than your competitors, right? If you have better ads, better offers, better landing pages, etc., then you're going to pretty much win by default. But if you don't know what your competitors are doing, then how do you beat them, right? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to use SEM Rush. If you don't already have an account, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up for a free seven day trial. And then you'll be able to use all these features I'm showing you here. Uh, but basically, you come into SEM Rush on the left hand side here, there's like SEO, local SEO, and then you want to come to this advertising section here. Uh, it's we're on the advertising dashboard right now and you can see we can do market analysis keyword research ad tracking social media ads it's a couple different things we can do here so <clears throat> let's just start by clicking on this go to advertising research here and basically what it wants us to do is take one of our competitors URL so in this instance we're going to use Molly made it's a made service. It's a huge franchise across the country, so of course they're going to be running some ads. <laughs> so we can take a look. Let you know. Let's say you wanted to set up a, um, you're setting up a cleaning company, and you kind of want to see like what is one of the biggest cleaning companies in the nation doing right now? Because I'm probably going to have to compete with them, right? So we we'll put their domain in here, and then. This tool, SEM Rush, is going to be able to go out and figure out what they're doing on Google Ads specifically. So we can see that they're advertising on 858 keywords, and that that is actually increased by 28% during the time frame here shown, uh, basically October versus no, uh, November versus October. So <clears throat> it seems like they might be increasing things. Um, the traffic 62,000 visitors per month and they're paying close to $300,000 a month for that traffic. We can also see some traffic estimates so we can see how it's actually spiked July, August, September, October. So maybe like going into the summer months they maybe increase their spend and then it looks like maybe it comes back down after the holidays. Uh, but we'll be able to see sort of what their trend is which in general can be um, quite beneficial and these are paid search trends so we can also look at the keywords so like how many keywords are they advertising where are they showing up in the search results for those keywords when they're advertising what are their traffic costs looking like and so on then if we come down here we can see the actual keywords that they're advertising so they're advertising on their name a lot so that's really a good information to know. So let's say we're going to set up a company, you know, Acme uh, Maids <laughs> Inc. And we're expecting that people are going to know about us. So we should probably advertise on our own business name if Molly Maids is doing it. And then it looks like um, cleaning services is their, you know, one of their top terms here. So you can see the volume that's coming from this 90,000. You can also search. So if we click on these, um, should be able to. If we click on these different columns, it should allow us to filter. Maybe. <laughs> and we'll go the other way here. So we don't want to start with the lowest search volume. I think we want to start with the highest search volume first so we can see and if we click on one of these terms we can break it down and, and look f closer at what's happening but they're averaging position number one so cleaning services seems to be like their number one term that they're going after here um, and they're ranked at the very top for that and it's pretty high cost per click so they're paying some pretty good money for cleaning services uh, so I, I might be like, okay, look, this is an obvious like 
obviously we're not going to advertise on their business name, but um, we should take note of the fact that they're advertising on their business name so we can do the same thing. So we can go through, click on all these terms that we're like, oh, for sure, house cleaning, cleaning services, um, and then we can actually export these to a CSV or Excel. And then when you go to set up your Google Ads campaign, you can just paste them right into the keyword section, right? So that's one way of doing some keyword research. Look at what this competitor is doing, figure out what's going on, and keywords are going to be a really big portion of the Google Ads campaign, right? But equally more important is your actual ad copy. So if your ads don't say the right thing and you're putting them in front of the right keywords, it's still not going to work very well. So now we can see not only the keywords that they're using, but the actual ad copy that they're using. <laughs> and we can see how many keywords each of these ads is on. So let's say we expand this one here. We can see that they're running this ad on basically anything related to Molly Maids. So that's kind of their branded ad, it seems. And then this one looks like the professional cleaning. So is this the cleaning services? Ladies cleaning, uh, they're doing all sorts of stuff. They look like these ads are probably running in many different cities across the country, but it's super helpful to be able to see all this. You can also export this. So now we can just export all of their ads, export all of their keywords, do this for a couple of competitors, start to look at what the trends are, and then create ads that are a bit better than our competitors. And go after keywords in a more competitive manner. I won't get too deep into that because campaign structure is a little bit advanced, but uh, the, the last big component is obviously going to be the landing pages. So where you're driving people from the ads and we'll be able to see the actual traffic value or the, the amount of traffic that they're sending to each of these landing pages. <clears throat> so, Looks like this, it looks like they're sending the traffic to their location pages in all these different cities. So I'd probably start open up, opening up these different pages here, start taking a look at what they are doing exactly. And then again, do this for several different competitors and we'll start to see some trends here. Uh, like looks like it, it's, Sort of like a family friend, like, hey, look, we just showed up at your house. Here we are. Uh, vibe. Like, they're it seems like they're not trying to go for this big corporate vibe. They're trying to be like a local, you know, call your local Molly Maid today. So I think that's kind of interesting. They're using some testimonials, but it's a pretty simple. Oh, wow. They're really used. Well, that's interesting. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. What the heck? They just put their reviews below the footer of their website? All right. Things must be a changing. Um, so <laughs> I don't know that I would mimic them on that one, but uh, it would be helpful to see sort of what they have going on here. Um, it looks like, oh, this is in Colombia. So I think this might be in a different language as well. Um, but we can see like the different services that they're offering, the different links that they're putting into their website on this page and start to begin to get a sense of what it's going to take to compete with these guys on Google Ads, which is really what you're wanting to see when you're doing competitor analysis. First, what does the competition look like? Can we compete? And secondly, what do we need to do to gain a competitive advantage? So that might be developing a better landing page, developing better ad copy, uh, targeting your keywords in a more refined way. So I hope that was helpful. That's sort of an overview of um, the, uh, you know, using SEM Rush for Google Ads competitor analysis. Now you can dive way further into this. You can also start looking at all of their display ads. Um, I won't go into all the the depths of it. Actually, it looks like they're not running any display ads. Um, 
or actually it looks like I haven't connected. Looks like I'll have to connect to add clarity here. Uh, but either way, there's so much you can dig into with this tool. I just don't really want to make this an hour long video. <laughs> so if there's anything you did have questions about in terms of Google Ads competitor analysis with SEM Rush, then don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you, or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. Here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.